Welcome again. Right now we're at Philippians chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. Introduction and exhortation to be pure and blameless. Paul's letter to the Philippians chapter 1. Paul and Timothy, servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi with the overseers and servants. Overseers here meaning superintendents or bishops and servants here meaning deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God whenever I remember you always keeping every request of mine on behalf of you all, making my requests with joy for your partnership in furtherance of the good news or the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. It is even right for me to think this way on behalf of all of you, because I have you in my heart because both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the good news, the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. For God is my witness, how I long after all of you in the tender mercies of Christ Jesus. This I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and all discernment, there's a lot of people who have love, but they don't have much knowledge with it or discernment. So that you may approve the things that are excellent, that, okay, this is what it's all about, that you may be sincere and without offense. The word offense here means sin, without sin, to the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are through Jesus Christ to the glory of and praise of God. It is very important for you to be filled with the fruits of righteousness. The fruits of righteousness are the works of righteousness that Jesus was talking about when he said, let your light so shine before men. When the righteousness of Christ is in you, when the righteousness of Jesus is in you, it is like the sun. It's not something you can hide, okay? Remember Jesus said, can you put a candle under a bushel? Can you hide the righteousness that you have? No, you can't. You know what happens when you put a candle under a bushel? The bushel becomes lit on fire. When you put a bushel on top of a candle, you got a whole lot more light than just a little candle flame. You got a bigger flame for sure. The righteousness of Christ is bright. It shines as bright as the sun. You can't hide it, okay? If you have the righteousness of Christ, you don't have to tell anybody. They will see it in you. They will see the holiness in you. They will see that you are different than everybody else. They will see that you have come out from among them. You have come out from the world. You are separate, set apart, holy that you don't act like the world, you don't behave like the world, you don't do the things that the world does, and you don't think the way that the world thinks. You are set apart, holy, and that is what it's all about. Seek God while he may be found, because there is coming a day when you won't be able to. Seek him, and if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.